Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Jamaica's economy grew by 2.1% for the third quarter, which ran from July to September. The Statistical Institute of Jamaica Statin says this was mainly influenced by growth in both the services and goods producing industries. Now, the data, the confirmed data, reflect an improvement compared to the 1.9% estimate for real value added, which came from the Planning Institute of Jamaica, PIOJ, a few weeks ago. Now, for the three months, Statin says all services industries recorded growth, with the exception of producers of government services, which declined by 0.9%. There was a 6% growth in the transport, storage, and communication industry, and hotels and restaurants' gross domestic product GDP improved by 6.7%. Other services improved by 4.5%. At the end of 2023's last trading session, the Jamaican dollar made ground on the U.S. currency. Banks and Cambios are selling the U.S. dollar for an average $154.95. $117.90 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. The average cost for the pound is $197.48, while the euro is selling for $173.14. And at the close of the last trading session for 2023, the JSE index increased by 4,228 points, while the junior market index increased by 64 point, 65 points. Among the 60 winners were our parent company, Radio Jamaica Limited, 138 Student Living Jamaica Variable Shares, Salada Foods Jamaica, Epley 7.75% preference shares and Caribbean cream. The 32 losers were led by Stanley Mota Ordinary Shares, Cygnus Credit Investments US Dollar Shares, Blue Power Group, Diamond Trading and Guardian Holdings. Now the 25, the session closed with 25 stocks being traded at the same price. They opened the session this morning. Now, local businesses may soon have access to more opportunities to partner with firms on the African continent. Now, earlier this month, the Ghana Jamaica Chamber of Commerce was launched. Data Repository OEC says in 2021, exports from Jamaica to Ghana were valued at about 15.7 million US dollars. This was mainly linked to the trade of minerals to include aluminum oxide. There, however, appears to be a new avenue that could potentially ramp up trade between Jamaica and the African country. President of Ganjak, Derek Kobina, says there are some key areas for initial focus. In terms of the arts and culture, um, fintech, um, and I'll say food and the beverages side of life as well. So these are the key areas that I think, I'll call them the low-hanging fruits that Ghana and Jamaica obviously share. Lakeisha Ford is Ganjak Vice President. Trade, investment, commerce, things of that sort is really what I think charts the path or the future of for countries, relationship, country relationships, um, different groups. So really the Ghana Jamaica Chamber of Commerce is, I would say, the fruits of wanting to see um, the connection move forward. There are, however, a few hurdles to overcome. The logistics, in terms of the distance, there isn't a direct flight between Ghana and Jamaica, even though we have a, a visa free agreement between Ghana and Jamaica. And uh, also in terms of the freight and the logistics, there is not a lot of freight and actually moving away from um, the, the Caribbean to Ghana. Mr. Kobina says members stand to benefit from a number of offerings. Organizing trade missions. Next year, we are looking at organizing two big trade missions. I mean, one from Ghana to Jamaica and another one from Jamaica to Ghana. And that's also key as well. We're also looking at organizing uh, monthly networking events whereby we get enough people to create the awareness in terms of join, joining the chamber. And lastly will be um, the market entry service, which is key in terms of there are lots of companies out there 
that will be looking at um, moving over to Ghana or vice versa. The group is set to launch its local chapter in the first quarter of next year. The news comes months after local lottery company Supreme Ventures opened a subsidiary in Ghana. Last year, a delegation from Ghana also visited Jamaica in a bid to explore opportunities for increased trade. And that's the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.